G'day guys, how you going? Hope you're doing well and taking care of yourself. Well, Victoria really is slipping into a complete nanny state. You know, Dan Andrews has been pretty ordinary over the last few years. Well, always really. But uh, he certainly is uh, stepping up these ideas of controlling everybody and what they do. Now this new idea that he's come out with is to fine people for going bushwalking. Now if you don't go on the designated track and wander off, you know, like people do, just have a bit of a wander around and check out nature, well you're going to get a fine, about a thousand bucks if you're caught. But that doesn't just end there. There's also the fact that if you conduct an intrusive search, as they're calling it, you know, wandering around in the bush, having a look around, um, that isn't on a designated area, well you can get fined up to 1500 bucks. Absolutely mad. But this is Dan Andrew and the Labor government all over, isn't it? They are all about controlling people and making sure that you're not doing what you want to do or enjoying yourself. But I do think it has a lot to do also with the fact that they're trying to stop people from going outside of the city and uh, exploring and you know, generally enjoying yourself. They want to lock everybody up and make sure that you stay in your house and uh, take your orders, of course. But this is the way it works with the Andrews government. Now, this certainly isn't uh, the kind of actions that you'd think from somebody who is worried about losing their position, being the Premier of Victoria. No, he certainly is behaving in a manner that uh, is like he's just freshly been re-elected. Now, I don't really think that Victoria is going to change. We've seen a huge exodus from Victoria. Many, many people have left Victoria and come up to here in Queensland, actually. Uh, but they're leaving to go pretty much anywhere. And unfortunately, the problem with that is, is all those people who are leaving would probably be voting against him. So he's only getting stronger. Now I fully expect that Dan Andrews will be reinstalled in this next election. Please Lord help Victoria. But that's just the way it is. But it's not stopping there. There's also more fines and restrictions on people if you want to do abseiling and stuff like that. But also if you go swimming in a billabong, uh, you're going to get a fine for that as well. Now it's absolutely amazing how these people come up with these ideas. I don't think it's just off the top of their head by any means. Um, these are long-term plans and it's all a part of this system about locking us all up and making sure that we don't have any freedoms. And they slowly take them away. But what will be very interesting is exactly how they're going to police this. So the only way I can see it is that they employ a huge number of people to go out there and monitor it. I expect we'll probably see a lot more drones flying around and that kind of surveillance because it's you know, quite expensive to get people out there on the ground doing this so you know there'll be that uh, drone out there taking pictures of people hooked into the facial recognition and you're instantly fined as usual but this is the way things are heading and I wouldn't be surprised at all if we do see this spread into other states there really is a concerted effort to make sure that people don't leave the cities and we're seeing things like that with electric vehicles you know they certainly don't go very far without a recharge and they're not very practical here in Australia uh, but I see a lot of four-wheel drive people uh, you know, popular ones and people who spend a lot of time making a great deal of money out of four-wheel drive TV and things like that. Um, they're saying that it won't work and there's no way it's going to happen. But the point they're missing is, is that they don't want people out there four-wheel driving at all. They want people to be staying in the city. They're making every effort possible to make sure that people are not out there in the wilderness. Now, the reason for this is anybody's guess. We can assume that it's just simply control but it's also this environmental thing where they're using the environment to restrict us from doing all sorts of stuff. As we've seen, we can't have cheap electricity because, you know, the environment. But all these ideas are coming into play and they're speeding up, and that's for sure. So I wouldn't be surprised, as I say, to see Dan Andrews reinstalled, and this is going to reinvigorate him to make sure that he keeps pushing all of this through. And uh, it's not going to ease up there. But unfortunately, this is the country we live in now. And a few people who do stand up and say something about it, well, their message falls onto deaf ears and not much attention is paid there at all. But I expect eventually this is all going to end up quite unpleasant because this type of thinking and these rules and regulations really aren't sustainable. And uh, reality will catch up with it eventually. And uh, that's going to be a very, very ugly period in time here in Australia.